Hi, my name is Trisha Cooper and I'm going to show you how to add a new image or file into your WordPress media library without actually doing it from within adding a new page or a new post to your site. You don't need to be on the edit page or edit post screen because some files you want to use on more than one page. So to do it in a more centralized way, we're going to add the file directly into the media library. So what we're going to do is go to where it says media here on the left, click the arrow, and we're going to click on add new. Now media means it could be an image, it could be an audio file, it could be a PDF file or a Word document, any type of file that you want to get into your WordPress system. So you can either show it on the page or play it on the page if it's a video or audio file, though you will need an extra plugin to do that. Or if you want to add a download link. So let's say you sell an ebook on your website and it's PDF format. If you want to be able to let your clients and customers download that file from a link on a page, this is how you do it. First we need to select our file. What I'm going to be doing in this demonstration is adding a custom um, Buy It Now button to go with the eStore plugin I've got installed here because I don't want to use the default um, plain old button. Uh, but this could be any kind of image or file as I've said. So let's click on select file and I've got a sample file already here. I'm using a Mac so on a Windows PC this is going to look slightly different but still works the same way. Just select your file there, click open and it starts uploading. Um, that was quick. Just take note that on different hosting accounts you may run into some maximum upload file size issues. Um, some of the really large files like uh, huge zip compressed files or really large video files or audio files. You may run into a bit of a snag here in which case you'd want to use FTP but this is just a tiny little image file and what we're going to do is we're going to take note of the file URL here. So if we select this and copy it, that's going to be on our clipboard. If you have a look, the way files get saved is they get saved into the WP content folder in an uploads folder which is normally arranged by date then here you can see I'm just going to try to show you the whole file name there we go this is a PNG graphic um, format file uh, if anything goes wrong or you decide you don't need this anymore, you can delete it. Try again. And you can change the title of it. It's not really necessary, but to help keep things organized, you can do that. Let's just add in some little interesting bits and pieces. If people have images turned off or they're using a screen reader because they're vision impaired, the um, alternate text helps there. We're not going to use a caption for the Buy It Now button. A description just helps you identify it later. It doesn't normally show up so that visitors can see it. This is more like a, a note to yourself. Okay, I'm just making this up as I go along. You use whatever specific to you. Now, we have copied this. That's important. You can go back and get it later, but let's just save some time and make sure it's copied onto our computer's clipboard now. 
click save this is important too if you want everything to stick and there it is it's in our system and you can see here it's not attached to any page because it's a gen general file I might use on a few different pages so I'm not really worried about that right now and that's how you upload any type of file directly into your media library I'll be doing a separate video for people who own the eStore plugin on how to actually now put this button into the eStore for a certain product or all your products. If you have any questions, email me or leave a comment. Thank you very much.